Did you take a picture at Portrait 34? How do students feel about SAT and ACT exams? Falcons, it is officially prom season. Have you been prom posed to? All this and more. FBN, FBN News, News starts, starts now. now. Good morning, Falcons. Today is Friday, April 29th. I'm Adriana Castanos. And I'm John Diaz. Students, if you took your picture at the photo booth event, Portrait at 34, your photos are not ready to pick up. You can pass by room 1025 after lunch to collect your pictures. SAT and ACT is one of the biggest annual stressors for our students, but did you know that many colleges and universities are no longer requiring their students to take it? Here's Juliana Romero with more. The SAT is a stressful aspect of a future college student's life and one that everyone dreads. Both the SAT and its rival, the ACT, are being dropped and ignored by many big name universities such as the University of California. Students from all over the country have mixed emotions about the exams and its foreseeable end. What are your feelings now that these exams might be coming to an end? It feels really good knowing that I don't have to study for any more standardized tests and it feels good knowing that other students in the future don't have to stress about studying for these tests and knowing that their college acceptance could be based on their scores. Do you think there would be a replacement for these exams to help determine whether a child should be admitted to a university? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there has to be another measure of how we're going to determine a student's college readiness, whether that be interviews or one-on-one -on -one, uh, focus groups, things of the sort. If we are going to be getting rid of the SAT or the ACT, there has to be other measures of college readiness. One of the reasons the removal of these tests is near is to highlight other factors in their applications, such as extracurriculars, community service, and work. Do you think the SAT is necessary or should be removed? Unfortunately, we rely way too much on testing, but testing also meets a certain purpose of how do you judge people on, on a test or on their abilities other than testing. Good luck and get ready for the future of College Admissions Falcons. I'm Juliana Romero reporting for FBN News. The time has come for prom season. Prom will be on May 14th at 7 p.m. at the JW Marriott Marquise. If you'd like to bring a date, make sure to print the format on the Class of 2022 Instagram and fill it out along with a copy of your guest ID. Today is the last day to turn it in. If you are already cleared for prom, you can buy your tickets on OSP. And don't forget, the applications for prom king and queen are to be submitted at May 1st. Prom is filled with traditions, but one of our Falcon favorites is seeing the creative promposals students come up with. Here's Thomas Guajardo with some quick encouragement. Can I have everyone's attention? <clears throat> in fifth grade, me and Biani started dating. It's true. Through ups and downs, she cheated on me, and I still accepted her back. We have a bond that can't be broken since fifth grade. My elementary, middle, and high school sweetheart. I'm here in front of everyone to ask, will you go to prom with me? Falcons. Today's weather is 73 degrees with mostly cloudy skies with highs of 81 degrees and lows of 68 degrees. There's a 60% chance of thunderstorms and 85 chance of humidity. I'm Annabella Diaz. Have a great day. What's up Falcons? I'm Amanda Sagala with your club news. Interested in planning pep rally, spirit week, and helping making student body decisions at Ferguson? Then Javi, scroll. You should apply for SGA. You can fill out the application electronically or manually. Please remember that a hard copy must be printed and turned into the activities office. Applications are due by May 2nd, and for more information, check out the Ferguson SGA Instagram account. Students in a vet program, don't forget that your FFA banquet is May 6th. Tickets are now on the sale through OSP, along with the FFA cords for any qualifying seniors. Interested in joining marching band or color guard? There will be a spring training taking place May 10th through 12th after school. 
Make sure to go see Mr. Thomas for more information. TV Club applications are now TV Club board applications are now out. The deadline to turn in will be May 16th. FBM will also be selling Junior Ring videos for $15 on OSP or in cash in room 264. And a big congratulations to all our FSBA TV Club participants for their win last week in the state competition. And always remember to stay involved. Hey Falcons, I'm Alexandra Nieves with your sport news. This Saturday, April 30th, our JV baseball team will be having an away game against Terra at 10 a.m. and their second game at 12.30 p.m. Along with that, track and fields will be having another meet today for their district competitions. Our girls flag football team had a home game this Wednesday against Coral Reef. They won 28-0 with an amazing pass catch by Elizabeth Garcia. Congratulations to our Lady Falcons. That's all the news I have for you today. Have a great day. John, we missed that. We should have gone to FSPA. Hold up, slow down, slow down. What? Can you remind me what FSPA is again? So FSPA is a broadcasting competition in Orlando which TV Club went to and they placed third in News Package and TikTok Challenge. Along with that, they placed second for Edit to the Beat and Collaborative Commercial. Wow, congratulations to the FBN. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great day, Falcons.